Hi, good afternoon. This is Mike with Lakeshore RV, and today I want to congratulate Joel Gonzalez on his purchase of his brand new 2023 Raptor 431. And this is an instruction video on how to use some of the components in it. So right in the front storage area, we got your solar panel battery disconnect. And then that's a transfer switch for the generator. It'll transfer shore power from generator power automatically. This trailer um, has an inverter, so that takes um, battery, inverts it to electricity, and supply some of the outlets with power. So if you're camping off the battery power, you can draw some electricity. Um, like I said, it's also got two big 400 watt solar panels and it's got some massive batteries in there and I'll show you how those work. Um, here's your main cutoff power disconnect for the trailer and then the battery disconnect is above it. So you got three disconnects. You got a 5,500 watt Onan generator inside there. And then here's your 100 amp hour um, Dragon, Dragonfly batteries. And then here's your battery disconnect. And then you power it up. If you wanna raise the front, you hit front and it'll raise it. If you wanna lower the front, you turn retract on, hit front, and it's gonna retract the front leg. So again, if you're raising it, you hit front. If you're lowering it, you turn retract on, hit front. And then if you wanna level it, you hit auto level, and that'll level front to back, side to side, and that's pretty much automatic you push a button and you're done in two minutes now this particular unit has the long haul package so you get the side cameras so that if you turn left or right you'll have a monitor and you can kind of see what's going on on both sides also includes the water filter system it's got a power cord reel and it also has an onboard air compressor and upgraded bow stereo system so really cool stuff going on with the rafters outside shower hose if you want to winterize your camper, you can do it right at this location here. Now, city water, you can have it normal flow and run off the pressure from the hose, or you can fill it to tank fill, and then you can fill the fresh water tank. I think it's 100 gallons on this model. So turn it to fill, and then you use your water pump, and then you'll pump the water through the system. So normal flow, hook up to city water, otherwise you can fill the tank and use the water pump. Uh, your, sewers are, your sewer tanks are there, so you pull the black gate valve, dump the sewer. Once the sewage is dumped, you leave this open, hook a hose up, and it'll flush that system out. Just make sure this is open when you're flushing it so it doesn't back up inside the camper. Shut the hose off, close the black, pull the gray out like it is now, and that'll dump the bathroom sink and shower water. So you kind of do that last to rinse out the sewer hose. And then there's a light above it. And if you get hung up on any of this stuff, of course you can call me, otherwise there's um, instructions here on this uh, docking center. RV's 50 amps, you'll need 50 amps to run um, everything at once. Otherwise, if you don't have 50 amps, you can put this on the end of the cord and you're limited to one AC and everything else should be fine. If you need to plug it in at home, no ACs, no microwave, but everything else should be just fine. Also um, with the Raptors, you get a tankless water heater that heats off propane only. And then you have a, a storage for your sewer hose underneath. And then the 431 Raptor also has a 13 and a half foot garage, so you can bring all your toys with you. Here's your power cord reel, and there's a button over here to the side. There's a fuel pump there, and you turn it on here. Also has ladders so you can get up on your roof. It's got the awning off the back patio deck. Three season doors. And it's also got this cool um, steps for the back patio deck. Got a massive storage locker underneath here. You got your Happy Jack bed lift systems. Um, this unit also comes equipped with two full baths. And then again, there's your 13 and a half foot garage. You got your 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Your concrete countertops. This is more like, like your house. You got residential seating here. Big screen TV, fireplace, radio, DVD player. And then here's your inverter, supplying power to the trailer. Here's the controls for your tankless water heater. Now at a glance, I can tell you the fresh, the black, 
both grays are empty and the fuel station is empty. So as you'll fill those up, those will kind of fill in solid. And then also on the first screen, I can turn the water pump on and off. I can turn most of the interior lights on and off and exterior lights. To get into the rest of it, it's zero, 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 zero. And that's factory settings. You can change that if you want to. You can run the generator from inside here. You can start it. You can run both side awnings in and out here. Bedroom slide, sofa slide, pantry. So, so you got three slide outs, three buttons in and out. And then you got individual lights you can do. You can raise and lower the hitch. Tanks are heated, so if you're going down the road and you want to keep those tanks heated, turn those on. And then heating and cooling, bedroom AC. Now the living room is going to have your furnace as part of it too. So you got fan, cool, and furnace. And then your garage AC. And then if you go into settings, like I said, you can change that passcode. Um, you can also change up the settings, so be careful when you're doing that. Tankless water heater setting. Here's your bath that also has an ensuite to the bedroom. Love the headboard. Ultra modern, super trendy, just a great looking camper. And then lots of storage underneath the bed. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Again, this is Mike with Lakeshore RV. I can be reached at 231-855-9998. Thanks.